Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is what I got at the drugstore. Now, I went to the drugstore because I needed contact solution and shampoo and, you know, the basic things that you go and get. But, of course, if you're me, you're not just going to go and get that. So, I went in the drugstore and I was tempted by the new lipsticks that came out. And these lipsticks are, okay, so these are the color Sensational New Vivids. And I was tempted because I saw, who did I see? I saw, like, a whole bunch of people, um talking about the vivids and I wanted to go get them now I am like I wasn't I used to be like all about the nude lipsticks but now lately I've been into like hot pink and fuchsia and I it was just you know feeling that so I was debating on good I think it's called fuchsia pop or something like that I'm not really sure so of course I'm gonna go and get the other one because I fell in love with these and I don't know if these are gonna be like limited edition or they're actually gonna stay but I'm definitely, definitely going to pick up some more. I think, like, Maybelline is coming out with the best lipsticks ever. And I'm not also that, but I also want to go get the Maybelline color tattoos. Because I know they have, like, different lines of it. And I am just so tempted because you can use those as base, you know, for, like, when you do your eyeshadow. So I'm tempted to get the collection of that. And I think I'm also... I don't know if I'm about the whole collection of the Vivids because, I don't know, I... I only saw like two, three lipsticks that I like from the whole collection. It's super, super gorgeous. This is how it looks. It is the most beautiful pink color ever. And I'm probably going to say this about most of my lipsticks. But honestly, it is so, so pink. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to do a little swirl. This is how intensive it is. Now, I'm definitely going to go and pick up the other one, like I said. But these, these are just, I don't know. I just fell in love with them. So, I'll probably just go get those. But hopefully, these are not limited edition. I don't know if they're going to be or not. But I fell in love with that. My next purchase was, I actually, actually just went in for a foundation. I wanted to try the new Kat Von D foundation. But... I don't know like um, I haven't gone shopping so you know I haven't gone to like a Sephora and so I couldn't get my hands on it and I know you could order it online but I don't know for some reason I just haven't ordered it don't know why so um, I always use this foundation up right here this is the Revlon photo ready that I always use in my tutorials and I fell in love with this one now I use the photo ready for when I film and actually when I go out basically because I like taking pictures on a daily basis not of myself but you know with my family and all that stuff so I like to use my color ready um, my photo ready my bad and I like to use that but the thing was that I've been using a tanner like my self tanner that I use is this Saint Tropez now I got these from QVC a while back I think I showed a video I'm not really sure but now I have two bottles because they sent me another one and I have been you probably won't see it because it probably is not even dark dark anymore but I tan and my face looks so white so I was like I have to go get me a foundation so I was gonna go get this one um, I went to Walmart I decided to pick it up but there it was eight dollars and i was like you know what i think i'm gonna try a different foundation to be you know to experiment and do maybe like a first impressions and stuff on my channel but then uh, for some reason i didn't end up getting it and and then um i went to my drugstore and i was gonna get it and this sucker was like well i'm not how much was this like i think this was like 15 dollars at my drugstore and i was like oh no 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 I was going to buy it at Walmart for $8 and here is $15. Are you kidding me? So I was like, no. And then I saw they had a sale going on right now of the L'Oreal True Match. And they also had the L'Oreal uh, Lumi foundation that I also wanted to try. But I couldn't decide because that's the thing. When you're at the drugstore, you don't know what shade you are. Like, it's so hard because, you know, it's, it's so hard to pick it because they don't have, like, a matcher and stuff. Like you know where it matches and then sometimes you don't just like match with your you know with your wrist or anything you so that's the thing about the drugstore that you're like you don't know what foundation to pick or whatever so I decided to go on the safe side and since they were having a sell I was like you know what I'm just gonna get two shades you know I can use this one for when I'm like not tan and I can use this one when I'm tan so or I can just mix them both to get, you know, the perfect combination. So yeah, I was like, I could just use both. And they were, I believe, one by itself, range $8. I'm not really sure. And the other one was like half off. So I was like, you know what? 
when I'm gonna buy one whole foundation, I can use two foundations. So this one is in the shade W4, real true match. And then I got the other one, which is a lot lighter. This is Ivory W2. Very true match, but it's like a, you know, you can see the difference of the actual colors. And like I said, I will use this one for when I'm not tan and this one when I feel like self-tanning. I was going to film a whole, like a whole first impression of what I, my actual thoughts were on this because I've never actually tried it. I've heard, um, who is the one that uses uh, beauty gurus like, it's Judy from It's Judy Time. Judy, um, uses that one, I believe. And I think Dulce uses it too. And they say they're their favorite. So, you know, I couldn't go wrong with these and actually I've been liking these and I'll probably make a separate whole video like a whole review of these actual foundations but I just couldn't film a whole first impression because you know I got home I was anxious to try it and I'm sorry you guys okay and I went in because I have been wanting a shampoo my hair gets so used to one certain kind of shampoo like say if I I was using a high-end shampoo and then I switched it to just a drugstore shampoo and it automatically noticed the difference. And my hair was so hard. Like it was so dry and brutal and it just felt really, really hard. And I had to go get another one. And the brand that I've always, always loved because of the smell and the way it lays my hair and it feels silky and smooth is the Garnier Fruities. This is the Garnier Fruities. Uh, this is, I believe, normal hair and also okay this is the conditioner yeah this is the conditioner you guys and then i got the shampoo because of course i wanted to use the whole line and then i always loved this one i just forgot about it like i've never actually even purchased it anymore i used these like back when i was in high school and it was like my top you know not even high school like middle school so i used i used this one when I get out of the shower, now it says to use it like when you strain your hair and stuff so you can you know, get a more, like, I don't know, like you could use it before and then like straighten your hair and it will give you like an anti-frizz and stuff effect. But I actually use just the tie bit because this goes a long way. It could make your uh, hair feel like really oily. You don't want that. So um, I just probably get out of the shower and I go like this and then like I grab it and you know at the ends of my hair. And then I kind of put it not on the top of the scalp because that's where you get the oil and you don't want like a bunch of oil and you don't want to throw your hair all greasy. But so you just go like, you know, like this, just a tad bit. And then it makes my hair smell so good and it just makes my hair, you know, like perfect. Like it's, it's so smooth, straight because, you know, when I straighten it, it's super straight like right now. And it just, you know, it smells delicious. Like I love, love, love this one and I couldn't go wrong with it, right? Um, what else are I just going to show you guys? Of course, just went in for my new, uh, for my new, for my contact solution, which is not a big deal. And I think that was pretty much it from the drugstore, you guys. I'm going to show you what I bought from Just Fab because I couldn't wait to get the shoes. Like, this has been on my wish list for, like, ever, and it's because they are always out of stock. Like, I don't know what's up with the shoes. I guess they're, like, the most popular shoes or whatever, or, like, a lot of people want them. The little box looks like. So the shoe is this one right here, you guys. I am in love with this shoe. Now, a lot of people don't really don't like this type of shoes, but this is my, like, my go-to shoe. Now, I don't know, but some other shoes when I walk and stuff, it me so tired and I cannot walk. But these felt so different when I tried them on because they have the platform. It's like super huge. And so like the platform feels like you're not even wearing a heel and nobody understands. But it's like, how can you walk with those shoes? You know, they're so big. But actually the platform is the one that helps you. And they don't even feel like you have a high heel on. So these are going to look super glamorous with my skinny jeans, with my jeans up. Uh, skinny jeans with my skinny jeans with dresses you know anything that I want to wear these with they're gonna look fabulous so I know this is my go-to shoe uh, this uh, just fab I will link it down below and so you guys can check it out but I have been in love uh, this is actually my second purchase from just fab at figure wandering and I have been in love with this and I just love just fab this are like I don't know I, I fell in love with the shoes because I know that this shoe is going to be like so versatile because I can use it 
with pretty much anything. Like if I'm using it with skinny jeans, if I'm wearing it with a dress, if I'm wearing it with a skirt, it's not, you know, and it's pro and it's because it's black, so this shoe is going to fit anything that I wear. So, you know, it's good to invest in some good black shoes and also in nude shoes. So I'm gonna give these a try. I'm gonna go out in them and see how I feel, give you a separate review, uh, you know, so you guys can, so I can tell you guys, you know, if it's worth or not. Um, but I will link it down below so you guys can go check out Just Fab. Now I'm pretty sure you're going to fall in love with it because I, I fell in love with it. This is my second purchase. Um, my first purchase was the Law Bag. Uh, it is like a pink. I think it's like a... I don't know. I think it's like a cheaper alternative version of a very expensive bag. So I'll put a picture of it so you guys can see it. But that was actually my first purchase. And then this one is like my second purchase and I'm definitely going to be picking some more shoes out <laughs> so yeah I will link it down below so you guys can check out the website and next thing I'm going to show you is what I got from T-Mart now I, of course I I wanted to win but of course there were some more you know creative people that created you know creative videos and I didn't win but still we got five dollars and the company you know emailed us a code and we were able to pick whatever we wanted and of course with five dollars it go all the way like you can get so many things because Everything is so cheap. So you got, I know I didn't win, but it's still, you know, you can get, it depends if, you know, if you're very, if you choose wisely, you can get many things because everything is just so inexpensive. So with $5, you can pretty much get a lot of things. But I decided to get my mom some earrings and I already gave them to her the longest and I could not find it anywhere. And this is because I like doing my own nails, clear tips like this. And I have like a bunch. I recently bought this other one that I forgot to haul. And, um, you know, I've also... T-Mart has a lot of things for nails. So I'm definitely going to be buying more things to do my own nails. Now, I don't like it in acrylics that, you know, that much. Because they are always like so brutal. Like they always hurt me. And I'm not talking about the nails. The nails are perfect. But when I go get my nails, some people just don't know how to do it. They hurt me so, so bad. And I just, I'm like, I'm like, I'm not coming anymore. I'm not going to get my nails done. And then I'm tempted. So I'm probably going to go get my nails done already. But you know what? Beauty is pain, you guys. Beauty is pain. And so yeah. I decided to get this one because I like to do my own nails. And of course, I saw the, you know, the reviews. I, every time I go shopping, like online shopping, I always look at the reviews. Because you have to. You have to see what other people thought of the product and stuff. And this one has like a bunch of good reviews. So... so this is like for you to put your, your nail through there, whatever, and then you go ahead and cut it. And, hello, it's pink. I'm a sucker for pink, you guys, as you can tell from my background. I change everything in my whole filming area and stuff. So I have like pink in the back, and then I have pink over here, and I have pink everywhere because I am a sucker for pink. I'm so, so girly if you know me in real life or like real person. <laughs> Not in real life, but if you know me, you know, I have people that watch my videos that actually do know me. And I am super, super girly. Like, if I could have my whole entire house pink, I would so do it. I've never actually showed you guys, but I have an obsession with Hello Kitty. Now, I wanted to do, like, a whole wall of, like, Hello Kitty stuff. And I've actually wanted to do it, but I just have not had the time to actually get everything that I have. I don't have a bunch of things. I just have a couple of things. But I'm definitely going to be making my collection grow. And one of the collections is this little cute Hello Kitty. I got her from Build-A-Bear. And she doesn't have her dress on. I don't know why. but <laughs> So, yeah. She looks super, super cute. I know. You guys are going to be like, how old are you? And are you really, do you really like Hello Kitty? But I don't care. I love Hello Kitty. There's a bunch of girls here on YouTube that love Hello Kitty. And they're like, what, 25 and up? So, I don't, don't care. Look. And this, this is what happens. She laughs. I know, I know, I know. So I love Hello Kitty. My daughter loves Hello Kitty. So we're like a Hello Kitty freak. But, so yeah. She usually had a little dress. I have two. I think this is not the one with the dress. Uh, she, there has, uh, the other one has like a dress. And then it has her little cute shoes and her little purse and everything. It was super, super cute. My husband gave that one to me. And my other one, my brother gave it to me. So, yeah. They know I'm obsessed with Hello Kitty. Throughout the whole YouTube, you know, experience with me, you guys are going to find out. You know, I'm super, super girly. You know, growing up, I was always girly in middle school, elementary school. I was always dressed in pink and sparkles and stuff like that. So, throughout this whole thing, if you follow me throughout the whole YouTube thing, uh, you're going to find out that I'm super, super girly. So, you know, 
that's the way I am. And, you know, I just love pink. I pretty much have everything pink in here. I think I have pretty much everything pink. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. It's not like everything is like pink, you know, but it's just like I like to bring up the color so I, I have like pink things. And I'm rambling. I don't know why I'm rambling, but yeah. So I forgot to tell you guys that this one, um, $2.99 or $3 was the most that I think I bought it for. And then <clears throat> the earrings that I got her were like $1.99 or so. I could have gotten some more things. Of course, I'm going to be shopping for more. And of course, I'm going to get her a bunch of more things because she deserves it. She's my mother and I love her so much. And yes, I'm a mama's girl. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Mwah! Kisses!